I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. I'm here at the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas. And joining me today is Jean Savage. She is CEO and President at Trinity Industries. Jean, it's wonderful yes. to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having us. Great opportunity to see you and talk with you. Thank you. So, Jean, Trinity has evolved significantly in its 50-year history on the New York Stock Exchange, and you recently rang the closing bell to celebrate yes. that milestone. Um, and you've been CEO for over three years. Correct. Um, talk to me about what you've accomplished and what excites you at Trinity in the coming years. So first, I joined in February of 2020, right before the pandemic hit and sent everyone home. So mm -hmm. really proud of what the team was able to do during that time period. We have uh, came up with a new strategy to be rail focused. We did optimization of our facilities, our lease fleet. Uh, we also have a new purpose, delivering goods for the good of all. And that's really helped bring our team together as we change the culture within the company. We're looking to be a big part of the rail supply chain and make, make it easier for them to use rail over trucks. Okay. All right, so you just mentioned the supply yeah. train, supply chain. Um, the North American supply chain has been in the news a lot over the past few years. How do you think rail's role in the supply chain has, has changed and how will it change going forward? That's a great question. Thank you for asking it because I'm very passionate mm -hmm. on this. When you look at the rail supply chain and its portion of the land-based transportation of goods, it's fallen from 2011 to 2020 by 14%. And when you look at that, it shouldn't. Rail is safer, it's more efficient, it's more sustainable way to move goods. But what's happened is the ability to service as good as the trucks has dwindled for us. So we're on the mission to work with it within the industry and make that better. So we have done things with the uh, technology and digital, making it so you can see where your rail cars are, making sure that you know the conditions of those rail cars, and then uh, you can plan around when they're going to arrive for you and make sure your costs are as m low as they can be in this industry. Okay, so talk to me about okay. your initiatives to support future growth. So when you look at the initiative, some of the things that we've looked at again is the supply chain. We already own one of the largest fleets in North America as far as rail cars. We also manufacture them. So we said, what can we do to help our customers in this field? So we've been adding the services. We maintain the cars. We have the digital services. So a car owner who has cars on multiple different railroads can sign on on one screen, know where their cars are, know the status. They can make decisions on maintenance for those, or they can waybill those cars to the next location. So it's all about making those improvements. The other thing we're doing is our design of rail cars. Rail's already 75% less GHG emissions to move the same amount of goods on the tracks or on the railroad versus on trucks. So we said, what can we do better? We're making uh, our cars lighter. We're using composites that you use in aerospace and that they use on spaceships. We're putting that into the rail cars to make those better for them and let them move more lighting, again, with less emissions. Okay, all right, so tell me finally, yep. how do you stand apart from others in this space? Well, we believe in our platform. When you look at it, I mentioned that we're a large lessor. By being a lessor, we're very disciplined in what we do in the industry. We're also a manufacturer, so we get the insights on what's happening within the industry. We can tell what markets are going up or down quicker than a lot of others. It allows us to make better decisions there. It also helps us price our assets as we're building new or reprice our lease fleet as we're going. When you look at the digital transformation, we're one of the leaders in the industry right now. We joined Rail Pulse, which is a consortium within the rail industry. And then we have the uh, Trendsight on top of that, which is the analytics and insights based off the information that's coming in. Finally, I'm gonna say we're close to our customers. Mm -hmm. We listen to them, what their needs are, then we try to address those either with new products or services to make it easier for them to use rail instead of using on highway truck to move their goods. All right, well, Jean, fabulous to talk with you here in Frisco, Texas at the Ford Center. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you very much.